morning guys we are filming a skincare routine finally i've been waiting to film this video because i wanted to get a new camera my old camera had that filter on it where it just made everything look really pretty and perfect and i want you guys to be able to see this without that here we are we're gonna start off with my morning routine obviously first and then later tonight i'll show you guys my night routine and also i guess i should add that nothing in this video is sponsored i bought most of the products with my own money there was like one or two things one thing one thing that was gifted to me that's it which i'll let you guys know what that is but. so the first thing that i use is a hydrating toner and this one's by biba i recently found this company through claudia solevsky and i just i love her you guys will see a lot of the products are by biba I end up just kind of spraying this all over my face in the morning i don't like to wash my face because i don't want to take all the product off from the night before and i know that people have uh, different opinions on this but that's just what works for me you have to do this little fan thing it feels so nice so after a few minutes go by i will go in with a serum and this one is from summer fridays vitamin c serums are supposed to be for brightening your skin if you have any kind of dark spots this is supposed to be really helpful and i have seen the biggest difference with this and i really like it because a lot of the serums kind of make your face very sticky feeling and this one doesn't do that at least not as much as other vitamin c serums i will typically do like two pumps of this pat it in on my cheeks and my under eyes and then i go in the upwards motion on my forehead all right following that we have an eye cream which is something that's been added to my skincare routine over the last month i didn't know i didn't think that i had under eye circles but i feel like when i hit 25 i started noticing them i'm not sure if it's like a mind thing or what but anyway this is by Ren, and this is one product that was gifted to me. It's very tiny because you obviously need a very small amount of it. And I'll just kind of put a little bit on my finger. And again, anything under your eyes, you just want to kind of like tap it because you don't want to pull on the skin underneath. All right, one of the last two steps, we have a daily moisturizer. This is a lightweight moisturizer. It's not gonna make your skin feel very like heavy or anything like that. This does have retinol in it and I have finally started to use it. It's not something that I used in the past. I will typically do about three pumps of this. And again, I start off kind of just tapping it. I always kind of just want to be moving upwards and on your neck, which feels so weird all right my camera died so i gave my battery a few minutes to charge in the meantime i filled in my eyebrows and i put on a little bit of mascara which is like the two makeup things that i kind of do on daily basis or i, or I wear on daily basis i don't usually wear anything on my skin unless it's like a special occasion the final step is sunscreen wear your sunscreen you guys trust me you will be thankful for it later this one is for acne prone skin which i don't wouldn't say that i have it but it just feels so nice on my face wow one pump you don't need a lot it does um spread <laughs> that's it that is my entire morning skincare routine and like i said i will be showing you guys my night routine as well it's pretty simple and my skincare routine is something that's kind of like a self-care non-negotiable i do it every morning regardless if i'm traveling if i'm not feeling up for it i just do it it's just one of those things that is a nice thing to do for myself and I never ever regret it. So I do recommend you guys set those kind of non-negotiables for yourself, whatever it is. If it's morning coffee in silence, if it's no social media in the morning, if it's a good skincare routine, if it's a morning walk, it makes a huge difference in the rest of your day. Coffee is another one of those things that's a non-negotiable for me. I have it every single morning. <laughs> Call me my best moment. Matching ropes. Bernie, come here. Please. Come here, Bernie. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> What's the stick? What's the stick? Go. Oh, he missed it. Bernard. No. Oh. You should tell everyone what you're reading about. I'm reading about Survivor. We binge watched two seasons of Survivor and we're obsessed with it. We're thinking of signing up. No. It wouldn't survive. They go to the today, bathroom in the ocean. <laughs> today we learned they shit in the ocean. There's like mold that grows on the teeth, right? 
I said moth, but hopefully not mold. That'd be crazy. We're getting ready to go for a hike and it's been very difficult because Bernie really hates being alone and it's heartbreaking. We're trying really hard to encourage him to spend time alone, to encourage him to like the crate, but I do think he has attachment uh, issues. He was taken from his mom a little bit too early and we're gonna get a trainer. We're gonna try to work on it, obviously, because I don't want our dog to have separation anxiety. But um, yeah, it's just so sad. I feel like so bad leaving him because I know that he's stressed out. If you guys have any tips, I would really, really appreciate it. You guys, I am currently wearing overalls is my first time i will be doing a haul with some new things that i got recently but that's coming later anyways uh nick is currently in the other room in a meeting and i'm in the kitchen working and i was just thinking about another one of my sort of like non-negotiables in terms of self-care movement movement every single day if i am stagnant for more than two hours if i'm sitting down and i'm sitting down a lot i'm always like on my computer so Every couple of hours, I will either go for a walk and listen to a good podcast or I'll go on a hike. If I know that I'm starting to work, I'll actually set an alarm for two hours and then I will make sure, regardless of what I'm doing, that I get up and get some movement because it always makes me feel so much more productive with whatever I'm doing. Another thing I want to tell you guys about, which I'm so excited, is that Nick and I decided to rent out garage space that is currently in front of our our house, I almost said apartment, our house. So we're pretty much going to have an extra room and we're turning that room into an office, which is so exciting. I always kind of find myself working in the kitchen, which is fine because there's tons of light here, but um, this house is very small. <laughs> the rooms are tiny, so I feel like everything is kind of getting cramped up. We've been here for almost a year. So excited, I'll be sharing that with you guys. And then once we're finished with that, I promise you guys, I give you my word, we will be doing a house tour. Um, I'll give you a little sneak peek of our dining room because I just love it so much. There's like tons of greenery in here. Probably one of my favorite rooms in this house, to be honest. All right, guys, we are now at the nighttime portion of my skincare routine. Gotta pin the hair back. First thing that I start off with is a cleansing balm. And you can actually use coconut oil. Um, I know some people do that. And I sort of just rub it. And it's just where I start to look crazy. So here we go. And then I go ahead and wash that off. Now step two is just going in with a gentle cleanser. I use the one by CeraVe. This one is very accessible. You can find it at like CVS and Target and stuff. And it foams, which I really like on my face. And I also use my Foreo, I forgot what the brush is called, Luna. Step three is going in with that same toner and then we fit. Next we have a serum that's also by Biba. Drop it in. Tap it into my skin and upward motion. My final product is called a cream barrier. And when I tell you that this is the thickest daily moisturizer that I've ever tried, just believe me. I do feel like when I wake up in the morning, my skin feels like it's reborn. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. It just feels so good. It's so hydrating. That is the end of my entire updated skincare routine from morning to night. I'll have all the products linked in the description bar for you. And just keep in mind, I am no skin expert at all by any means. And I still break out. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know what you want to see. If you guys enjoy vlogs, if you want more sit down videos, please let me know. I'm thinking of doing my top five leggings video, which is kind of how I did for my jeans. I also really love making vlogs. I think those are my favorite videos to watch. So if you do enjoy them, please let me know because I would love to continue making them. That is all. Thanks for being here and good night.